Hi, boys and girls. My name is Maria Desmondi, and this is lesson number two on kindness and love's recap. So what we did today is we read a story by Jacqueline Woodson. It's called Each Kindness. In the story is a little girl who's new to school. Her name is Maya. She doesn't know anyone. She's trying to make friends, and she keeps smiling at another little girl in the story. The other little girl doesn't smile back. The girl's name is Chloe. She doesn't smile back. Well, then the teacher takes the class for a lesson. And the teacher says she filled a bowl with water, and then she dropped some stones into it. And little waves rippled out from the stone. And the teacher said, this is what kindness does. Each little thing we do goes out like a ripple into the world. Well, then the little girl, Chloe, says, gosh, next time Maya smiles at me and asks me if I want to play, I'm going to say yes. But Maya never came back to school. Maya went to a different school. And so Chloe was really sad because she felt like she missed her chance to share kindness with Maya. And so, boys and girls, what we did is we talked about how kindness is free. And we talked about how kindness comes in different sizes. There's small acts of kindness, there's medium acts of kindness, and then there's bigger acts of kindness. And that kids have the power to be kind, especially since it's free. So a small act of kindness can be tiny if you think of something like a sprinkle. I've got some sprinkles here. If we just take one sprinkle out, look how tiny this sprinkle is. It's so little, just so tiny. So you can have a small act of kindness Kind of like smiling. It doesn't take a lot for us to smile, does it? Or waving hello to someone is very nice, and it doesn't take a lot to just move your body a little bit like that. That's a small act of kindness. Then you're going to look at a little bit bigger act of kindness. And remember, kindness is free. To smile and to wave hello doesn't cost any money. The next type of kindness is a medium act of kindness, kind of like a marshmallow. It's a little bit bigger than a sprinkle. If I were to throw this into water, it would make some tiny ripples. It would make a difference. Those ripples are the kindness spreading. Because if I wave or smile to someone else, chances are that's going to make them feel loving kindness, and they're going to do that to someone else as well. A medium act of kindness is something like raking your neighbor's leaves or baking cookies and giving them to some friends or writing a letter to your teacher because you miss her so much or him so much. Then the next size of kindness is a large act of kindness. And I'm thinking this is more like a rock, something that's bigger and heavier. If I were to throw this into a pond, the ripples would be larger. And so what that means is if you do a larger act of kindness, a big act of kindness, it's going to spread even bigger. So a big act of kindness might require some money. And so it sounds more along the lines of maybe you have a lemonade stand and that might cost you some money to make the lemonade. You sit out there, you do your work, you sell lemonade, you make money. Well, then you take that money and you donate it to a charity that's important to you. That's a big act of kindness. Another example I gave was that um, my, my daughter Ruby has a business and she makes things with rainbow loom and perler beads. And then what she does is she sells those to um, individuals online and she takes the money and she donates it to an organization called St. Jude. And so that is um, a bigger act of kindness, right? Because she's taking money and she's giving it to an organization. Another big act of kindness would be to, um, you know, make sandwiches at your house and then donate those sandwiches to a local charity for people who need food. So kindness comes in all different shapes and sizes. And so today we talked about small, medium, large types of kindness. And the application I gave was to ask you to write down one act of kindness you're going to do while you're home with your families. Are you going to hug mom and dad or ask you know, mom or dad or sister or brother or aunt, whoever's at your house, um, how you can help them? Maybe you're going to do extra chores. Maybe you're going to write a letter to your grandma who's in Florida and you're missing her. But please write down one act of kindness that you can do to make a difference in someone else's life. All right, friends, thank you so much. And if you'd like to see some of the videos I showed, I showed two different videos that were examples of kindness. Go ahead and have your grown-up download the PowerPoint that is right next to this, and you can go ahead and watch those videos.